Welcome to experiment two of our science in the kitchen competition. Hello and welcome back to our science kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to make a kaleidoscope out of nothing but milk, common or garden washing up liquid and some food colouring you can buy from any supermarket. Firstly you'll need a saucer. This is our science saucer here you can see. You can use any saucer at home. And some milk. Now what we've had to do to this milk, because we could only get blue top, not good strong gold top, we've actually had to put some single cream in here to increase the fat content of the milk. It's very important you can get the fattiest milk you can buy. If not, you can just put a splash of single cream in and see how it works. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to fill my science saucer with just a very thin layer of milk. And it needs to be quite thin, try not to get any bubbles in there. Now, in these small beakers, I've got some food colouring. You can see this is blue food colouring. What we've done is we've just popped a little bit of water in these food colouring because we find it works a little bit better in the fatty milk. So I'm just going to put some drops of, some big fat drops of food colouring in that milk. Got some orange here. Put them nice and close together. We've got some green. Now don't worry if they spread out a little bit on the surface of the milk. Now, if I take a cotton bud here with a little bit of water on and I put it in the middle of those drops of food colouring in the milk, you can see what happens. Nothing. Now, if I replace that for a drop of just washing up liquid, and you can just pour some in actually out of the bottle of your washing up liquid at home, you'll see what happens. And we get a kaleidoscope effect. Now, some of the small particles of that soap here have some properties that are similar to magnets. Now, we have the opposite magnetic charge, if you like, on the particles of the fat that's in the milk. So what happens is we get colours being pushed away from the centre where that soap is all the time. Not only does that happen, but the properties of the surface of the milk, what we call the surface tension, also gets broken down by the detergent-like action of the soap. So we get colours following the lines of the weakest force in that surface tension, but also we get molecules moving away from that soap in a constant fashion and what happens is those colours are recycled and recycled as you can see to make these wonderful patterns. Now have a go at this experiment at home, don't forget to send your photos in to our Facebook app and don't forget to get your friends and family to vote for you to win one of our prizes. Thank you for taking part in our Science in the Kitchen experiment, I hope you've really enjoyed yourself. Now if you want to join in with us to do some more science, see Titan the Robot, see Johnny Ball, come and see us at SciFest Saturday on the 5th of July.